Welcome to the video. This is another update video on the club championship from a couple of weeks ago and also where we are on the old losing a bit of poundage off the body. So let's get straight into it. No edits, no nothing, straight out. Can we do it in one take is the question. Um, so yeah, Paddy Talks Golf here. Podcast goes out every Monday now at 11 a.m. If you don't listen to that, what are you doing with your life? But uh, this video is about what happened in the club championship a couple of weeks ago. Uh, I play in the Hinch Golf Club, for those who don't know. Um, if you follow me, I mention it quite a lot. So club championship is a two round, 36 hole. Uh, it happened to be Stableford. I thought it was stroke on the first tee on the Saturday. I found out it was Stableford. Took a little bit of pressure off. But it's a 36 hole Stableford off the white tees and 36 hole stroke off the blue. So it's really the blues. Is, the blue tees is the real championship. Shout out to Noel Sexton um, and co. But yeah, uh, I didn't have the confidence off the blues. I haven't played Lynch Hinch much off the blue tee. So definitely something I'm going to do over the next six to nine months is because uh, there's different lines and everything from back there um, is play more off the blue. So club championship review. Let's stay on point. Uh, first day, struck it well. Uh, but I was putting myself in some nasty positions off the tee. Uh, it was leaking a bit left like a like a pulley, dry shot. Um overthinking it uh, more than anything I, in retrospect but yeah and you can't really go too far off lining the hinge and it led to like I was level par through seven which is an accomplishment um, but just was you know it's like a golfer always putting for par he's going to run out of luck and it's the same with the hinge if you're missing fairways you're going to run out of luck and you're going to start hitting the snaggy lies and stuff so yeah three or four doubles hit the card uh, a lost ball on 18 um, hit it well left so far left. Now we did find a ball. I'm playing Taylor with TP5 for the Cup Championship. Uh, and I did have a little green shamrock on it. Now uh, that I did in Sharpie that morning. Now we did find a Taylor with TP5 picks as well. Which is rare enough. But I I, in, I had nightmares about it the Saturday night. Um, I was thinking oh the shamrock might have washed off. Or, or whatever. It might have worn off throughout the day. I, I didn't um, reapply the green sharpie but I couldn't I wasn't 100% hundred percent sure it was my ball so I put that uh, TP5 picks into my golf bag because I couldn't I was 100% sure it was mine so lost ball but uh, so yeah I shot 85 on Saturday which is uh, 13 over par it was about a 2-3 to three club win which was about standard but it was scoreable you know um, so I chilled out that evening made sure I rested up but brought my son uh, hit some shots we went to the beach or whatever I uh, went to the movies as well. Um, Rise of Gru. Um, 7 out of 10, even for the parents. And then Sunday was a different day. Um, just had less swing thoughts on the tee. Uh, just said, rock up and hit it. Um, I went, I went bogey, eagle. <laughs> so I had my second ever eagle um, in the hitch. Well, third ever actually. Because um, I had an eagle and a par four earlier that week in in a uh, casual round, but uh, yeah, I hit driver hybrid into a two club wind on the second to about twenty feet and hold the putt. Uh, so I went to like bogey eagle par par uh, bogey par 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 <laughs> like so I was I was more than well I was one under two nine, but. Uh, yeah, 12, I was on in two boat days, which is rare for anyone uh, to hit and hold that 12th green. Um, three putted at both days for par. And 13, the short 13th is 265-ish yards. Day one, green side on the right. And um, fluffed a couple of chips and made double. But on the Sunday, um, drove the green pretty much, but sidled down into the bunker on the left. And anyone who plays the hinge knows it's it's normally grand, but it rolled right around to the back of the bunker, about four inches from the back edge. So yeah, it took two to get out and made bogey. So 13 was not my friend. And I kind of stumbled home a little bit. I shot 78. So 85, 78. Handicap remains the same though, 3.4. Uh, the first round won't count as it's so high. But the second round, given the competition and the competition scratch, CSS, or, you know, um, the playing day that everybody had, was assessed uh, that, yeah, it was within my handicap range. So I was happy with that, but knew that I kind of stumbled home a little bit. So could could have shot a little better, could have shot the three or four over for the day, but happy overall. 
So that's the cold championship review and we're at like five minutes. I'm trying to keep these videos really short, but mindset was good both days. Didn't get down on myself for, for having some bad scores on the card. Uh, knew from attending the South and, and playing with people like Aaron McNulty, uh, who was just a couple shy on the actual Blue Tea Club Championship this year, that the course is there to be taken. The, uh, you keep going, keep being aggressive, um, and the course is there for the taking. Um, so that was a learning this year from playing with, with better golfers. So um, looking forward to the winter now. Uh, if you've been watching these videos, you know I'm on a quest to lose about 20, 25 odd pounds in uh, in 10 weeks or so. We're about halfway through there now, and I'm down 10 pounds. Um, week of club championship, I got the heavy man flu on the Saturday. That did not help the golfing matter. So I actually played on the Sunday, and I was I felt like I was underwater, to be honest. But uh, still savage, that six over par. And the next three, four days, was I felt rotten. Uh, I was traveling then for work for four days uh, to the UK. And I'm back this week. So still managed um, to maintain through, I suppose, the 10 days or so. So we're down 10 pounds, which is nice. And we kind of have 15 pounds to go. All right. So between now and Christmas, you know, I want to do it in the next five, six weeks. But I'm also being realistic. I'm also not being too hard on myself because I have been I have been hard on myself in the past for not losing weight fast enough. Uh, and that's led to going completely off the boil or me not being in a very good mental state. So I'm being realistic. I'm cutting myself a break for like when you're sick. You know, you might be eating as good. You might be exercising. When you're away with work. Uh, I had a learning last week. Yeah, you know, I don't need to be getting a pizza takeaway. Uh, I need to do better, better, better preparation when I'm away for two or three days. So uh, that's where we are. Club Championship Review 8578. Definitely aspects I can work on. The Porter was unreal. I was on fire and uh, didn't miss anything really within six, eight feet. But yeah, a bit of consistency there in a um, bit of course management more than anything else on picking lines and picking what shots. So there was a few, you know, a few holes where drivers wasn't the, wasn't the club given the conditions. But uh, there's a couple, of, there's a couple of shots I need to learn. Um, so it's just holding up into the wind and such, uh, I think to get that level of consistency. So that's where we are. Club Championship done. Uh, came to the top 10, I think. Um, I think. I uh, haven't really searched the results, but given <laughs> the results on the Saturday, I'm pretty much around there somewhere. So a top 10, not too bad. But uh, looking forward to get stuck into the winter programming now. Uh, there's a winter series every Tuesday in the Cave Club, which is about 20 minutes away from me. So looking forward to tipping over to that every couple of weeks. And playing with some of the best amateurs and some of the pros come down and play the winter series as it's not in Port Marnock links this year and yeah that's going to be my winter uh through the beyond scratch private facebook group if you want to join that we are organizing um tpi sessions and programming for the winter um so yeah if that's your bag uh, get stuck into the private facebook group um that's it i'll try and post a video next week let you know how things are going uh, but they're probably going every two weeks now all right until we teed up again soon. And oh, um, new little podcast short on Saturdays. I'm going to call them quick nines. They're going to be like nine minutes of um, of a previous episode. So um, a little extra because there's, like, there's 129 episodes there now. And, and there's a lot of people who've only tuned in maybe the last four or five weeks or maybe the last this year. And, and they're missing out on two years of episodes. So I thought that was a nice, easy way to, you know, bring some some good content, some good conversations to the four that you might be listening to yet. So quick nine podcast on a saturday i'm going to be sending out the sunday time sheet on sundays at 10 a.m and the weekly podcast the big stories are on mondays at 11 a.m and then there's these videos here uh, if you're so inclined all right until we teed up again soon i'm patty